Claro Radio Escuchas, en este momento tus estaciones favoritas, Costa Coma Radio Universal, One America Voice, KQWC 106.5 Low Power FM y en South King County y KTQA 95.3 Low Power FM en Tacoma y Pierce County, unen su señal para llevar hasta ustedes el siguiente programa. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Little fellows, get comfy and ready to enjoy the next stories Welcome to Reading to Tugina background um yeah we are in the forest definitely okay so today the books that we have for today we're gonna read three books today and they're gonna be where is Bina bear or Bina bear but that's okay you can still see the time <laughs> it's blending into the background but This is by Mike Corrado. Mike Corrado. And you're not missing much. It's just plain yellow. Oh, okay. There you go. That's the first book. The second book that we're gonna read today is Max and Marla Are Flying Together by Alexandra Boyger. I think I'm gonna love the illustrations in this book just based off of the cover. Look at how pretty they are. Look how cute they are. Okay, and then the last book that we have for today is back here. It's called Wombat Walkabout by Carl Diggory Shields. And we're gonna read that one last because it's back there. But, all right, those are the three books. and. Before we get started, let's do our joke and our fun fact of the day. Okay, so our joke for today is, why can't you give Elsa a balloon? Hmm, why can't you give Elsa a balloon? I'm sure we've all watched Frozen, right? So we're talking about that Elsa. Why can't you give Elsa a balloon? The answer is because she'd let it go. <laughs> That was so funny. Okay, and then um, the fun fact that we have for today is about Barbie. Um, I love Barbie. I used to have Barbie dolls. Um, <laughs> yeah, I used to have Barbie dolls when I was little and I loved playing with them and doing their hair and like um, dressing them up in all different types of things. Um, and also the movies, the Barbie movies are really good. If you haven't seen them, my favorite Barbie movie is um, Barbie, I think it's called Magic of the Pegasus. I think that's what it's called. If not, it's somewhere around that. That's my favorite one. That one's so good. And also, Barbie, um, Princess and the Popper. It's really good too. So, those are... That's not, that's not the fact. The fact is, Barbie dolls... No, the Barbie dolls' full name is Barbara Millicent Roberts. Uh, she's from Willows, Wisconsin, and her birthday is March 9, 1959, which was when she was first displayed at the New York Toy Fair. That's so long ago. That's the 50s. That's like 70 years, I think. Don't quote me on that. 
but yeah, is it, I actually knew that. I knew that her full name is Barbara Millicent Roberts. Um, I think because um, there is a show called Barbie Life in the Dream House. It's really good. Um, and if you haven't seen it, you should definitely see it because it's really funny. And yeah, it's really funny. And the episodes are not that long, I don't think, but there's little multiple stories in each episode. So it's like not boring, it's entertaining. So let's get right on with the books. Yay. We're gonna start with this one. Max and Marla are flying together by Alexandra Boyger. Here is the front. Here is the back. Max and Marla know how to enjoy life. It's about the simple things. So, I'm guessing Max is the little boy and Marla is the owl and he's eating a donut. And sometimes it's about the exciting things. Marla today is a perfect, no. Marla, today is a, is a perfect day to build a kite and let it fly high up in the sky. They get to it right away. Max with a lot of enthusiasm and Marla, well, she's helping a little bit. Flying is not her favorite thing. And besides, it's rather cozy inside. I feel her. I like being inside better than being outside too. <laughs> Max is adding some finishing touches. They will make the kite extra special. No peeking, Marla. No worries, she wouldn't. Flying is definitely not her favorite thing. Here we come. Marla is a good friend. Aww. Oh, she's, <laughs> I thought they were putting boots on her, but they're not. See, it looks like she's wearing a boot, but she's just sitting on top of the boot. First you fly up high into the sky and then our kite can fly right beside you. It will be almost as if we are flying together. Marla has to think about this. Look, this is how it goes. You spread your wings, you flap your wings, you jump and then you fly. Just don't forget to flap your wings. Marla? She, I don't think she's even listening. Max realizes what is wrong. You don't have to be afraid. Owls are born to fly and our kite will always be flying beside you. Marla doesn't move her wings, not even one flap. Maybe we can try again tomorrow. Oh, I wonder why she doesn't like to fly. If she's a bird. <laughs> Off to bed. It's been a long day and Marla and Max are very tired. While the storm shakes the trees outside, two cups of hot cocoa and their favorite donuts keep them warm and cozy. So he's dreaming about them flying together. And 
she's dreaming about them being inside eating a donut and having some hot chocolate. Whoa, wake up, Marla. You have to see this. My goodness, what a mess. Well, I guess it's autumn and the leaves are falling down. The storm was not kidding. Leaves are everywhere and their kite seems lost. I need your help, Marla. We have to clean this all. We have to clean this all up. Hey, and maybe we'll even find our kite. That is so many leaves. Is all the red leaves? That's like the whole ground. Are you helping, Marla? I can see you. I can still see you. Hmm, are you sure you can, Max? Uh-oh, the wind is picking up again. Oh. <laughs> she's just, she's not helping. She just doesn't want to do this. Did she find the kite or? I think she's sitting on the kite. Marla gets swooped up into the clouds. Squeak! She calls in utter despair. Marla, Marla, is that you? Let go of the kite. You were born to fly. And look, I'm right there with you. Aw, that's so cute. He like drew himself onto the kite. That is so adorable. Marla and Max are flying together. Yay, that's so cute. I love that. Marla is a natural. She was born to fly. Aww. So had she ever flown before or was this her first time flying? That's my question. Let's fly together again tomorrow. Oh, and now they're both dreaming about flying together. That is so cute. Marla, wait for me. <laughs> She's ready. She is so ready to go out seize the day and fly and soar. Marla and Max, no, Max and Marla are best friends. Aww. So you can see them out in the window. They're, they're playing together. Oh, that was so cute. I like this book. So it was called Max and Marla are Flying Together by Alexandra Boyger. Boyger? I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. But there it is, front to the back. And that was the end of the first book. I really like that. I like how Marla got over her fear of flying. And yeah, that was really sweet. And you know, my brother's name is also Max. All right. And she's still blending in, but it's okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so the next book we have is Bina Bear. No, where is Bina Bear? Oh my gosh, I didn't even see that. Where is Bina Bear or Bina Bear? I'm gonna say Bina Bear. Um, by Mike Corrado. All right, so let's get started. Oh, this is, 
Oh, I love these drawings too. They're so cute. So like pastel and colorful, you know? Where is Bina Bear? Tiny was having a big party, but where was Bina Bear? Oh, Tiny is so cute. He's a little buddy. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's hiding. She's trying to blend in. Trying to blend into the background. Just like this book. Nina, click. <laughs> now she disguises herself as a lamp. Bina, is that you? No, I am not Bina. I am a lamp. Oh, okay. Click. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, Tiny is not the smartest. The smartest of the bunch. But at least he is thoughtful and caring for his friends. Bina, is that you? No, I am a table. Oh, may I have a banana? Yes. Thank you, table. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you, table. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now she disguised herself as a table. How'd she get the fruit on there, though? Excuse me. Have you... I am not Bina. I am a treat. Oh, okay. <sighs> Nom 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 nom. Do you want some banana tree? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where is my friend Bina? I miss her. Oh, that's kind of sad. But he's sitting on her. <laughs> Yeah, she's a bookshelf. Flipping the baby is so hard to reckon. Okay, Bina, what are you doing? I am not Bina. I am groceries. Groceries. How do you guys say groceries? Do you say groceries or groceries? I feel, I feel like I know people who say groceries. And I mean, I don't know what's the correct way, but I say groceries. Are you okay? I am fine. Aww. I think you're such a good friend. Oh no, she's crying. Why is she crying? Oh wow, the background. <laughs> Although, I understand. I don't like going to parties either. I don't like parties. Then why did you come? Because I like you. I like you too. Aww, that's so sweet. Yeah, I don't like going to parties either. Um, anyway, I don't like going to parties either and my parents always make me go because, you know, I'm part of the family, but I would much rather stay home. But, you know, if you're going to a friend's party, it's always, it's usually funner than, you know, I don't know, someone you don't really know. But, okay, maybe they're in here. Oh, they're, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Where are Tiny and Bina? I saw them a while ago. Sniff, sniff. Hmm. Let's get back to the party. Come on, Spot. <laughs> now they're both disguised as lamps. Why are there lamps in the kitchen, though? Hmm, that's kind of suspicious. And how the heck does a lamp turn on? <laughs> Aww, that's so cute. 
now they're both kind of like hiding um, from the party guests. Aww. This book is dedicated to someone who is too shy to name. Oh, that's so cute. Cause like if someone, um, whoever was dedicated to when they read this book, they're gonna know it's them. That's so sweet. All right, that was the end of the second book. It was called Where Is Bina Bear? You can't see the where is, but I promise it's there. Do I like do it super fast? No, that didn't work. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, that was this book by Mike Corrado. I really liked it and it's really cute. Honestly, children's books are so, they're always so cute and wholesome and just, they're great. So, now we're gonna put this book back there. Actually, it's my blending. Uh, Trina's blending in a little, but it's okay. It's okay, guys. All right, and the last book we have for today is Wombat Walkabout by Carol Diggory Shields. This is so cute. Oh, and illustrated by Sophie Black... Blackall? Wombats. I feel like I know what a wombat looks like. I mean, it obviously looks like this, but I mean like a real wombat. And I think they're cute. I'm pretty sure they're cute. Okay, wombat walkabout. <laughs> it says some Australian words you will discover in this book, or you will encounter in this book. All right, let's see the Australian words. <laughs> wombat. Okay. So we have wombat, walkabout, dingo, waddle tree, billabong, eucalyptus, eucalyptus, kookaburra, and swag. Those are the words, and should I read the definitions? I'll just hold it close, so if you want, um, you can read them. It's a little blurry, so actually I will read them. I'll try to read them really fast, so we can get on to the book. All right, so, Wombat, a, a wombat is a stout, sturdy Australian mammal with a large, blunt head. It has small ears and a very short tail. It has short, stubby, but very powerful legs with broad claws, which is which it uses for digging. Um, a walkabout is to go for a long walk. Aboriginals use this period for spiritual enlightenment. Um, a dingo is an Australian is Australia's wild dog. Dingoes are op opportun opportunistic meat-eating predators. They prefer mammals, but this diet can be supplemented by reptiles, insects, and, and etc. Um, a wattle tree. Um, wattles, which belong to the mimosa? Mim mimosa family, are the most widespread of Australian plants. They vary from low spreading shrubs to large trees and have flowers ranging from pale yellow to deep orange. A billabong is a water hole formed when a U-shaped bend in a river is cut off and separates from the rest, from the rest of the river. A billabong can sometimes remain after the river if itself dries up. Eucalyptus, or a gum tree, eucalyptus, yeah, eucalypts are far and away the dominant trees in Australia, uh, in Australia, with more than 600 species and many hybrids. 
Eucalypt flowers have numerous stamens in either white, yellow, pink, or red. Um, when the flower dries, the seed pod develops into a gum nut. A kookaburra, um, the laughing kookaburra is common is a common Australian bird. The sounds made by this bird range from a few chuckles to a pronounced coo, coo, uh, coo, ka. I don't know. <laughs> but the main song is a rollicking laugh. Okay, and the last one is swag. The old term for a vagabond's bedroll pack or sack which contains essentials, usually a blanket, billy, can or kettle, flour, tea, and sugar, which were sometimes his complete belongings when traveling in the bush by foot. So, the more you know, right? Those are some Australian words. <laughs> yeah. And it seems like each little wombat, you're gonna be able to tell their names by what they're wearing. So Clive is gonna be wearing this. Lee is gonna be wearing some polka dot little bottoms. Jack is gonna be wearing a newspaper hat. Jen is gonna be wearing this pink little, I don't know what that is. Theodore is gonna be wearing this little hat and Prue is gonna be wearing this necklace. So. On the front, it looks like we have Jen, Jack, this is Jen, oh, you can't even see it, Jen, Jack, and Theodore, Theodore, Theodore. All right, so let's get started. We haven't even started the book yet, but early one morning when the sun came out, six woolly wombats went walkabout. They didn't see the dingo with the hungry eyes. I have a lunch. No, I have. I have a hunch my lunch just walked on by. Oh no. Six fully wombats walking one by one past the golden waddle blooming in the sun. The l last little wombat, whose name was Clive, stopped to smell the flowers. Five, keep going, keep going, but... Oh no, five woolly wombats ambling right along crossed the wooden bridge at the billabong. The last little wombat, young Theodore, stopped to throw a pebble. Oh no, and you can see the dingo. You can't really see him, but he's there. Oh, right there. Oh no, now there's five. Now there's gonna be... <laughs> then there were four. Four woolly wombats trekking down the track heard a kookaburra laughing like a maniac. The last little wombat, whose name was Lee, stopped to have a listen. Oh no, Lee. Then there were three. Three woolly wombats all in a row passed by the wood where the gum trees grow. The last little wombat, known as Prue, stopped to pick a gum nut. Then there were two, two woolly wombats, Jen and Jack, thought it was awfully quiet, so they looked back. No little wombats, that's not good. They jumped off the track and hid in the wood. Along came the dingo, his tail a wag, and on his back a big swag bag. That swag was lumpy and jumping all about. That bloke's got our mates. We've got them to get, we've got to get them out. And I so would read this in an Australian accent, but I cannot speak the Australian accent. Um, now wombats are diggers. So Jen began to dig while Jack gathered armloads of sticks and twigs. They dug a great pit wide and deep. Ooh, I know what they're gonna do. They covered it over, then Jen began to weep. I'm a poor little wombat all alone, lost in the woods so far from home. 
The dingo licked his lips and said with a yelp, Don't worry, little wombat, I'm coming to help. Oh, he's gonna fall in there. Crack! Went the branches, the dingo took a dive. Ooh. But what about their friends? I don't know. Oh, no more. Oh, the swag bag opened and out popped Clive. Then the others climbed down. One, two, three. Good work, mates, they said. What wombat glee? Good work, mates. No, that's horrible. <laughs> good, good work. Good work. I don't know. Okay, anyway. Six woolly wombats, good as new. Walked along together, two by two. Jen, Jack, Dieter, Prue, Clive, and Lee had a lovely walkabout. Aww. Yay! They got them all back. Then home for tea. Boom. That is the end of Wombat Walkabout by Carol Diggory Shields, illustrated by Sophie Black, Black Girl, Black Girl. All right, everyone, I love this book too. I said that about everything, but I love this one too. I think this one was actually my favorite, just because the wombats are so cute and all of them have their like little hats or necklaces. It's so cute. So that was the end of that book. Um, that is all the books we have for today. Just as a reminder, we read that one, Wombat Walkabout. We read Max and Marla Are Flying Together by Alexandra Boyger. And we read Where Is Bina Bear by Mike Carrado. This one's so confusing. <laughs> but that was all we read for today. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me today. Um, it's a little bit different of a setup, but, you know, you gotta work what you got. So, um, here is Tugina. She's blending in a little, but here's Tugina, and we're gonna say goodbye to you guys for today. Um, come back next Sunday at 12.30 for more stories with reading with Tugina. And if you guys have any story suggestions, comment them down below. And yeah, um, the library is open. Go to your local library if you want books, more books, less books. I don't know. <laughs> if you want books, movies, uh, if you want to use like a computer. Um, I don't know if they have music. I think they do but I don't know don't don't quote me on that but um yeah that's it for today and hopefully you guys have a great Sunday and yes thank you to go hug your kids that was really random but <laughs> But anyway, yes, me and Tugina are going to say bye now, and we're sure to come back next Sunday. Well, that's it for today, folks. But remember, we have an appointment next Sunday at 12.30 to listen more stories of Reading to Tugina.